Lordstown Motors says it plans to start production of the Endurance in the third quarter, so that could be as soon as July. Well, today, Foxconn, the company that now owns the assembly plant, welcomed the electric vehicle delegation and local elected officials inside the plant to showcase what can be done at the facility. First News reporter Nadine Grimley was there and has that story. We're here in a part of the plant that's home to the hub motor and battery line. Where earlier today, about 50 members of the EV delegation had a chance to look around. We're excited to see this facility uh, come back into its prominence. We're excited for Voltage Valley to develop here. As the new owners of what was once GM Lordstown, Foxconn welcomed DV executives to show off what the plant is capable of when it comes to meeting demand for electric vehicles. We want to build a, a manufacturer and uh, supply ecosystem uh, and operate and localize here. This comes about a month after the sale of the plant was finalized. The same time, Foxconn also entered into asset purchase and contract manufacturing agreements with Lordstown Motors. I think today we want to join together to uh, celebrate uh, the great foundation we see right now of the partnership between Foxconn and Lordstown. A part of the deal was for both companies to have a joint venture called MIH EV Design LLC with the common goal to work together with other partners on future development of electric vehicles. Uh, in the next uh, couple of years, I think with what uh, we're doing in here, uh, particularly on the joint venture, uh, we will help bring the supply chain. One thing about having a common architecture that can be used by multiple OEMs, the benefit of that is you could get scale and you don't have to do it all yourself. With a plant like this that can six and a half million square feet, can build over 400,000 vehicles, one OEM doesn't have to fill that on their own. In Lordstown, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News. President Biden